Hey, this is Ryzen Tech. Today, we'll discuss about how to free up drive space in Windows 10. Make sure you click the subscribe button now and enable notifications if this is your first time seeing my video. How to free up drive space in Windows 10 Important Windows updates might not be able to be installed on your computer, which could have an impact on its performance. Here are several methods for making space available so you can keep your PC current and functional. Start with the first idea and see whether it helps, if not, move on to the next one. The suggestions are listed in order. To check the total disk space left on your Windows 10 device, select File Explorer from the taskbar, and then select this PC on the left. The available space on your drive will appear under Devices and Drives. Note, if you follow the steps below and continue to have trouble updating Windows because of low disk space, resetting or reinstalling Windows might help. If you're getting a low disk space error because of a full temp folder, if you use disk cleanup to free up space on your device and then see a low disk space error, it's possible that your temp folder is quickly filling up with application, .apex, files that are used by Microsoft Store. It's likely that your temp folder is quickly filling up with application, .apex, files utilized by Microsoft Store if you ran disk cleaning to free up space on your device and then saw a low disk space problem. You'll need to reset the store, clear the store cache and launch the Windows Update Troubleshooter in order to resolve this issue. 1. To reset Microsoft Store, select Start, Settings, Update and Security, Troubleshoot, then select Windows Store Apps from the list and select Run the Troubleshooter. 2. To clear the Microsoft Store cache, press the Windows logo key plus R to open the Run dialog box, then type Reset.exe and select OK. A blank command prompt window will open and after about 10 seconds the window will close and the store will open automatically. 3. To reset Windows Update, select Start, Settings, Update, and Security, Troubleshoot, then scroll down and select Windows Update from the list, and select Run the Troubleshooter. 4. Restart your computer and see if you are still experiencing the issue. Free up space storage sense. Storage sense can automatically free up drive space for you by getting rid of items that you don't need like temporary files and items in your recycle bin. Free up space disk cleanup. Disk cleaning can be used to remove temporary files and system files from your device if your system lacks storage sense. 1. In the search box on the taskbar, type disk cleanup, then select it from the results. 2. Select the drive you want to clean up files for, then select OK. 3. Select the checkbox next to the type of files you want to delete. To view a description of each type of file, select the name, by default, downloaded program files, temporary internet files, and thumbnails are selected. Be sure to clear those checkboxes if you don't want to delete those files. 4. To free up even more space, select Clean Up System Files, select a drive, select OK. When the system has done its calculations, select the type of system files you want to delete. Disk cleanup will take a few moments to calculate the amount of space that can be freed up. 5. After you've selected the types of files you want to delete, select OK, and then select Delete Files in the confirmation window to start the cleanup. Important. Also, you can compress your OS drive, which gives you more room to load crucial updates. This is the disk on which Windows is installed. The contents of this drive are not deleted by this procedure, so you shouldn't have any trouble opening or saving anything from the compressed disk. If you want to compress the OS drive, select File Explorer from the taskbar, and in the left pane, select this PC. Right-click or tap and hold the OS drive, usually disk C, and then select Properties, and in the General tab, select Compress this drive to save disk space. Select Apply, OK. After you install the update, you can manually decompress the OS drive at any time by clearing the Compress This Drive to Save Disk Space checkbox, and then selecting Apply, OK. Free up space to install the latest Windows 10 update. Windows 10 of May indicate that it needs more space to get the latest Windows 10 feature update. You can use an external storage device to help you complete the update. You may need to use a micro USB adapter if your device doesn't have a standard USB port. If you're still seeing a blue screen error, try rolling back, disabling, or uninstalling the recently installed drivers. Delete personal file or move them to an external storage device. 
Personal files such as videos, music, photos, and documents can take up a lot of space on your device. To see which files are using the most space. 1. Select File Explorer from the taskbar and find the files you want to move. 2. Under this PC in the menu on the left, select a folder to see what files are saved in it. The videos, music, pictures, and downloads folders usually contain the largest files that you've saved to your device. 3. To see the size of the files in a folder, select the View tab, then select Details. Right-click in the open space and then select Sort by, size to show the largest files at the top of the list. 4. If there are files you no longer need on your device, you can either delete them or move them to an external storage device like a USB drive or an SD card. Remember, to clear the recycle bin after deleting any files to entirely remove them from your device and free up space. To move photos, music, videos, or other files that you want to keep but don't use very often, consider saving them to an external storage device like a USB drive or an SD card. You'll still be able to use them when the drive is connected, but they won't take up space on your PC. 1. Connect an external storage device like a USB drive or SD card to your PC. 2. Select File Explorer from the taskbar and go to the folder that contains the files you want to move. 3. Select the files, select the Home tab, and then select Move to and select Choose Location. 4. Select the external storage device you connected in the location list, and then select Move. Save new personal file to another drive. Saving new files to another drive will help prevent low space problems on that drive in the future, so you won't have to move your files to another drive repeatedly. Instead of saving all your new files to the default drive, you can save some of them to a different drive that has more free space. 1. Select Start, Settings, System, Storage. 2. Scroll down and under More Storage Settings, select Change where new content is saved. 3. For each content type, select a drive from the drop-down menu. If the drive you want to use isn't listed there, make sure it's connected to your PC. Turn on OneDrive File on Demand. Note. OneDrive Files On Demand requires Windows 10 version 1709 or later and OneDrive Client version 17.3.7064.1005 or later. OneDrive Files On Demand, which keeps a smaller placeholder file on your hard drive rather than the full-size file that is kept in your OneDrive account in the cloud, can help you conserve space. You won't have to take up hard drive space by downloading full-size copies of all your OneDrive files in order to access them from your desktop. Run antivirus software. Sometimes a virus or other malware can consume significant hard drive space by corrupting your system files. If you suspect your PC is infected with malware, use an antivirus program like Windows Security for antivirus scan and If this doesn't fix 